फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू बैंक एग्जाम कैफे एंड इन टूडेज एपिसोड ऑन केस स्टडी बेस्ड क्वेश्चन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन मोर क्वेश्चन एंड दिस इज पार्ट नंबर ट्वेंटी प्रीवियसली वी हैव अपलोडेड नाइनटीन पार्ट एंड द लिंक्स ऑफ ऑल दिज नाइनटीन पार्ट आर गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स इन द पी डी एफ फॉर्मेट you can download the pdf and watch all the 19 parts so that you will get an idea that which type of questions will be asked as the case study based questions and how to deal with such questions also friends download the study material from the description box let us move to the question of today's episode case study based question here is the question on the screen The question is that two friends Aisha and Suchi have 40 and 61 numbers of same type of toys respectively which they have to distribute among two groups of children such that each one gets equal number of toys after distributing in such a manner Aisha and Suchi are left with five toys each friends here it is given that there are two friends Aisha she has 40 toys with her and Suchi has 61 toys with her both of them they distribute their toys among the children in such a way that each children will get equal number of toys and after distributing in such manner Aisha is left with five toys and Suchi also left with five toys with the help of this data you have to give the answers to the following questions so see the first question find the number of toys received by each child find the number of toys received by each child friends here you know that aisha has how many toys 40 toys toys with her and suchi has 50 61 toys with her and after distribution both of them left with five toys so how many toys aisha distributed 35 toys distributed by aisha and minus 5 and suchi distributed 56 toys so one distributed 35 toys and another distributed 56 toys and we have to find the number of toys received by each child so to find the number of toys received by each child we will find the hcf of 35 and 56 so here 75 za 35 and 78 za 56 and therefore the hcf will be 7 and so the number of toys received by each child will be 7 and so friends a option will be the correct option now let us move to the next question find the number of children in which ashima distributed the toys find the number of children in which ashima distributed toys ashima distributed how many toys she distributed 35 toys and each child got seven toys and therefore 35 divided by 7 so 7 5 za 35 so she distributed toys to the five children so that five seven za each child got seven toys so 7 5 za total 35 toys she distributed and therefore the b option is the correct option that is seven toys let us move to the next question here is the next question on the screen find the total number of children in which ashima and suchi distributed the toys now friends here we have seen in the previous question that ashima distributed the toys to five children now we will find to how many children suchi has distributed suchi has distributed in all 56 toys and each child got 7 toys so 56 divided by 7 that is 7 is a 56 so 8 children got these 
toys so ashima distributed the toys to five children and suchi distributed the toys to eight children and therefore in all the they distributed the toys to 13 children and therefore the b option is the correct option now let us move to the next question factor tree is a chain of factors which is represented in the form of plant tree circle and none of these this is the very simple question that the factor tree is a chain of factors and it is represented in the form of tree so b option will be the correct option the next question is on the screen the smallest composite even number is whether 8 4 2 or 6 here this question is for you you solve this and tell me through comment box that which is the smallest composite even number out of 8 4 2 and 6 so friends here we have seen all the five questions of this case study based question and i hope you must have enjoyed this video if yes please like the video share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you very much for watching this video